Hello, my name is Ethan De Jong and this is my submission for EDPD 201 Assessment Task 1 Part B. In Part A of this assignment, I focused on the importance and uses of behaviour management in a classroom setting, specifically looking at how behaviour can be managed through preventative and reactive strategies and how teachers can create and maintain a supportive and safe learning environment, NESA 2021. As a result of working as an SLSO and volunteering at my high school, I now have a newfound knowledge of behaviour management and how these strategies can be applied in the real world. My experience of utilising and observing these strategies highlighted from what strategies were effective and what strategies did not work or needed to be altered for a real world experience. Furthermore, my experience has shown that behaviour management is more than whole class management and far more complex as it can be broken down into subcategories such as management of groups and individuals. When writing part A of this assessment, I had the assumption that theory strategies were directly applicable to most, if not all, classroom situation. This was quickly proven wrong. In my experience volunteering at my high school, I had the opportunity to enter different classrooms and see how different teachers utilize behavior management strategies. Parsonson 2012 shows the significance of being trained in behavior management and offers a range of evidence-based interventions intended to anticipate and prevent undesirable classroom behaviors. Through reading this article and gaining an understanding through my own experience, it is clearly evident that an individualistic approach is the most effective for classroom behavior management. I found this strategy most effective as it not only gives the teacher the ability to focus on the problematic students, but it also makes the students feel as though they are being listened to, creating a sense of a safe and supportive learning environment. A prime example of this is in video three of Mrs. Smith's year two to three class. Ms. Smith takes an individualistic approach to learning as she makes her way around the classroom assisting students as both individuals and in small groups. I learnt from this video that taking a little extra time to listen to the students plays a big role in their development, as they are able to share why they are struggling in a supportive environment. This ensures Ms. Smith is able to attend to the problematic students and struggling students, guiding them in the right direction. After writing and reviewing part A of this assessment, I had come to the realisation that though my preventative strategies were effective, my reactive strategies remained flawed. Stepping into the classroom environment, I quickly realised the importance of having effective strategies and as my supervising teacher said, you can never prepare for everything. Clooney's Ross ETAL emphasises the influence that reactive classroom strategies have on students. This study is conducted by sampling 97 primary school teachers from Melbourne. The journal article illustrates the effectiveness of reactive strategies in a classroom environment with evidence-based research. This article displays how reactive behavior management strategies can help students to remain on task and how they can ensure that problematic students turn into eager learners. Furthermore, my experience has shown that behavior management is more than standing in front of a class and talking at them. Behavior management is far more complex as teachers are required to meet students at an individual level utilising both preventative and reactive management strategies. Through submitting part A, I learned about the significance of behaviour management, yet I struggled to understand the depth of how it can be used effectively. After submitting part A and completing part B, I've learned how various reactive and preventative strategies can be utilised in different classroom circumstances. I understand that I'm only just beginning to skim the surface of behaviour management, but I'm eager to and will continue to learn to better myself for my future students. Thank you.